Hello, hi, welcome to our new playlist. In this playlist, I'll be showing how you can create a parametric pavilion like this one in Monterrey, Mexico by using Crossover. You'll be learning a bunch of stuff, but if you want to get more information about the project, you can visit evolo.com and follow through the information that you can see here. And you'll always go back, refer back to these images as we go through. So the thing related to this one is in Crossover, obviously. And let me show you what you'll be learning in this playlist. So you basically start with learning how to create a pavilion as such. We'll create a pavilion in between these two base curves and we'll create points in between, like lines in between, and then create these based on these points. Location, we'll be creating arcs or curves or nerves curves. And you'll be also learning how you can make those choices by using a buttons, button or buttons in pressure group. Then we'll be rotating those and then lofting to create surfaces. We'll be using Launchbox plugin to define our surfaces or divide our surfaces into smaller elements and based on the attractive points we are going to create uh, like a larger but also more opening, less opening kind of openings based on the components location. So this is something we'll be having up at the end. Obviously these are all completely controllable with some information that you can see in Grasshopper like buttons, scrap mappers and all these kind of things but yeah that's pretty much what you'll be working on. And then we'll jump into the phase of fabrication. We'll be mapping or tagging all the tags that, or all the components we have. We'll be using the same strategy to put them on the ground as well to make sure we are having the same information you see a1 a1 a2 a2 kind of thing and then we'll having results or some mesh like some flops here so that they can be bent or fold and uh, get together there will be some also folding lines here as well and all in all we'll be also creating all this in bake them all in into Rhino as well alongside with 3D and 2D information and that's pretty much what we'll be doing in this playlist I hope you enjoy it uh, let's start with the very first video on how we can create this parametric surface <laughs> 